So we have a lot of requests for 90s supermodel makeup. Um, and that normally means actually show makeup. So I'm going to do a typical show makeup, which is quite strong in the 90s with the supermodels. But what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to put the false eyelashes on. One, because there's so many, so many examples of people putting false eyelashes on YouTube now. Two, Chanel don't make them when they have the most amazing mascaras, not important. Three, for me, that would take him too far into something that is no longer modern. So I want to keep it a, give it a modern twist, which is sort of slightly more minimal than that, but still of the show type of supermodel makeup, which I was privileged to be around for anyway. I've actually prepped the skin using the Hydro Beauty Micro Cream, which I just love. It's the new moisturizer. It works so well under all foundations. So I love this one. My favorite foundation of all time by Chanel, which is the Sublimage. This has been around about two years. That's why I'm saying of all time. I think the new cushion ones are just as good, but this is thicker and will give more of that 90s feel of sort of perfect skin. Do you see how thick it is? It can obviously be liquided down to as much as you want by adding moisturizer, but I'm gonna keep it quite thick. So she really gets skin that is completely covered. I'm not using a brush for this. I'm going directly from the pot to the skin and then blend. You can see it's thick, but don't worry guys, I'm gonna blend it in, it's gonna look immaculate, but just full coverage. But it's not full coverage, dull full coverage, it's full coverage, glowy full coverage. Okay, so that's the foundation done, but I am gonna put on a bit of concealer. So here comes the concealer, a little bit of concealer under the eyes, and then just gently pat it in. You know, you can press quite hard because it actually gives the, the person, the face you're working on, quite a lot of confidence if you actually use your fingers properly. Okay, my darling, that's the concealer done. I'm gonna move on to the eyes. So I'm just gonna shape the brows. So there we go, we're just shaping the brows now, just getting the, just so I understand the shape of the brows and will help me understand the shape of the face, in fact. So now, 90s makeup, especially show makeup, especially zoom model, was very much about the eyes. So I'm going to start with the eyes. I'm inclined to start with the eyes anyway, unless you're not doing, I'm not doing eyes at all. So taking this kind of fabulous gold, I'm going to use this as a base color here. Look at that. That is so supermodel. What an amazing color. Wow. It's a dead gold. It's got this kind of wonderful green undertone to it as well which I'm rather loving because it's not a warm undertone. I think it's very, um, very interesting. Look at that, it's incredible. If that would, that's a makeup look on its own. I tell you, individual colors, just having like one color to work with can be such fun. I've never used that before, so I'm really thrilled with that product. It's called Bronze Antique. It really is like a bronze antique. There we go. Then taking the next color, which is going to be now a matte color, Vision, this one, okay? This is quite a warm brown, sort of warm taupe. Look straight ahead, perfect. I mean, don't look straight ahead, close your eyes, thanks mm -hmm. darling. And then just work this all over the lid. The wonderful thing about these new colors is they blend so beautifully that you can't really go wrong, guys. And don't forget with makeup, practice makes perfect. Onto the next color where I'm gonna give a real socket to the eye. This is a um, darker matte color. It's called chocolate brown. Here we go. I'm going to be daring and use quite a fat brush. And then just go windscreen white perfect. Bang, bang, bang. You know, so blending happens very fast when you use a brush of this density. Always knock the color into the back of your hand. If you've got nothing else, it's by far the best thing to do. I'm going to stand in front of you and see if it's even. Yup. I need to just even this out here a bit. Lift it up a bit, bit more in this corner. Just, you know, when you're doing your own makeup, just always check in the mirror and see how you're getting on. You know, just look at, pull back and look at both eyes and see how it's building up. I mean, if, we, if I was not doing a video, I would be slower, which is boring for you guys, and um, I would be pulling back more and looking in more, but I'm trusting that I'm working with an amazing product, so I may actually be quite quick. Now, I'm gonna take a black pencil and I'm going to take that along the roots of the lashes, quite thick. I'm not just going for the roots, I'm now going into the, like a, like a liner, but a soft liner. Okay, one. I'm going to blend that, so don't worry, it's not going to stay like that. Other side, right into the roots. 
I'm just going to take a small brush and blend that. So now it won't show at all as a pencil, it'll just look like a black, a black definition. Same the other side, blending this side now, blending the two together, blending it all together. I'm just always blending colours together. I don't want to see any lines. I don't want to see where things have started and stopped. Right, that's that. Now I'm going to take the black product, which is this one. I'm going to use this over the black line that I've done already. Knock it into the brush and then just going to take it over that so it becomes really dark. But not, not dark as in, I don't know, what kind of dark shall I call this? It's still a subtle dark. It's like not too black, it's just wonderfully charcoal black. That's it. It's a charcoal black rather than the dead black. Okay, so that's the top lid done. I'm now going to go on to the, to the lower lid and for that I'm going to use the chocolate brown. Okay, right, that's that. I'm now going to use a brown pencil inside the eyes. You could, you know, a black pencil would have been very classic to use in the 90s, but again, I want to do a sort of a modern version of that, so I'm making it a little bit softer using a brown pencil. But hey, listen, if you want to use a black pencil, that's absolutely fine, because it's still a great look. I'm going to do something with the gold, just to make the eyes pop a bit. So I'm going to take a small brush, I'm just going to Add this to the corner in here. Look up, my darling. Great. It's going to go along the waterline here with the gold. Now I'm also going to do something which is just take this gold colour and just put it in the middle of the eye just here. So you'll have a bit of a reflection of it. And then on the other side. I'm going to do mascara. So as you can see now, I'm getting one very thin coat. Now, I'm not going to put the mascara back into the wand because I want minimal mascara on it. So I'm just going to go straight to the eye. Look the other way, darling. Look up a tiny bit more. Great. Okay, so there are the top lashes done. So I'm now going to move on to the bottom lashes. Same old trick. Back and forth, back and forth, and then down. Look up. So I'm going to use this for the brows. I'm going to use the darkest colour. Not too much. Just enough to really define them. This is something, remember, brows are sisters, not twins, that famous saying. But um, it's probably become a bit repetitive, actually, but I'm going to say it. I'm just going to put some gel on the brows now. Thank you. And then the brows will be done. So this is my new favourite product. I love this. So this can be, they can be quite brushed up. And I'll just take down the corners. I'm going to go for powdered blush because I feel this is a more of a powdered look. So I'm going to go with a big brush, really big brush, like this big brush, because I don't want precision, I just want a general sweet glow. And I'm going to go with something this colour, it's quite corally, very, very pretty, and it's called Angelique. Knock it in the back of my hand so it's not too much on the brush. And then just gently, very gently, add a bit of colour to the cheeks with lovely, great big circular motion. Just a tiny weeny bit, huh? Don't need too much. Just relax. A lot of people like the, the model actress to smile when they're doing blush, but I find it very confusing and not mm. what I like at all. I like the face to stay um, neutral so then I can choose where to put the blush. It's very normal for people to sort of automatically smile when you come at them with a the blush colour. It's like, no, no, just stay calm, just it's fine by me. I am going to use a bit of quote unquote contour bronzer. So using this colour, it's not really contour, it's actually more of a bronzer. Because it's um, 90s, early 90s, there was quite a lot of like colour going on everywhere and sort of definition. So I'm just going to define a bit there. Same the other side. And then a little bit into the forehead, into the hairline. The same colour tone throughout, a tiny bit on the chin. So if, if we want to call this contouring or bronzing or whatever you want to call it, when you are doing contour, make sure you go from underneath the ear, just here, straight down to about here. And then you take it in and you just blush it up. Because I was being so casual about it, you probably thought that I was kind of, um, in a sense, out of control. But I wanted it to come far in, but also to be very, very soft. But if you were doing real contouring, you have to be more precise and literally come in from the ear, come down and then stop there and then blend it up and out. OK, so I'm going to take it a little bit into the temples because, again, I want them to be more toned with the rest of the face. 
You can see immediately when I do that, that it becomes toned. Okay, right. Now I am going to actually powder the T-zone because I think it's quite important with this look that there is a certain matteness in the face, not a deadness, but a matteness. So just taking the, the, um, this powder, the compact powder, I'm just going to just do the area where I don't like shine. The Pood Universal Compact, that's what it's called. I'm going to do a kind of rosé mouse right now, okay? So I'm going to use the lip liner first which is quite a dark berry tone. Actually, first of all, I'm just gonna put a little bit of lip balm on because the mouth is a little bit dry. I should have done that at the beginning, so that's my fault, huh? So, I didn't put any lip balm at the beginning. I'm really sorry, baby. It's okay. Look what a beautiful color that is. Just with one lip done. Just hit your mouth together once. Thank you. It's actually really helped me putting that little bit of lip balm on because now there's more moisture to work with. So I'm using the flat side of the lip pencil, so I'm always using it as a, as a lip pencil rather than just shaping, I'm also colouring in with it. This divine colour here, which is colour number 62. And I'm just going to put this through here, just lifting the lip liner a bit. Now smudge your lips together, baby. Go for it. My favourite thing, this is my favourite bit. Why? Because you get the full extent of the mouth. And if you go slightly over the edges, you can always correct it. But it's allowing the mouth to take its natural shape to the fullest degree, okay? A lot of people don't like people doing that, but I always do. It's one of my little sort of things. It blends the pencil and the lipstick together really, really well. Then now pout your lips a bit. Great. I'm just gonna knock in the color a bit. So it becomes a little bit more like a natural lip tone. I'm just knocking the excess color off. And there you have the mouth done. So here we have Yana finished with the 90s makeup with a kind of modern twist. It looks really now and wonderful, but it's just, you know, it's so perfect. It's sort of the, everything is complete. What is important about 90s makeup is that every feature was completed. So this is it. Every feature is done and gorgeous on you. <laughs>